Good morning. Well, do you want to host your domain that you purchase from Google on Bluehost? So I have uh, a website on Bluehost and I purchase a domain for another website from Google and I like to host that on Bluehost as well. With the plan that I have with Bluehost, I can I have I can host unlimited domain on there. So I'm just it's going to be an add-on to my primary website there. So it's going to it's not going to be a subdomain, it's going to be a domain, but technically I have a primary domain and anything that any other domain that I purchase will be add-on domain. So let's see how I'm going to work on that. So I'm just going to share my screen here. If you so first let's go to first you'll be assuming you just purchased a domain from Google or you log into your Google account you go to my domains so they are here and let's just choose one I'm going to choose one at the bottom so pretty much when you are on this page you'll have your domain name and on the far right you'll have manage so you'll click on that so I'm going to choose this one here and I'm going to click on manage on the far right so when I'm on this page On the far left, I'll click on DSN. And pretty much that will point out the servers that the, uh, the domain is on. And I will, my goal is to change the servers to, to point it to Bluehost. So you log in to your Bluehost account And on the right side, you'll click on Domain. And that's today's process. So, on the Domain, you'll click on Assign on the left side, in the sidebar. So, we click on Assign, and that's when you already have a primary domain. Uh, website there and you are trying to add more website to it so here it will ask us to put the domain name so they have two options and it's multiple steps so the first step they you will sell you will make sure the second one is checked use a domain that is not already associated with your account and we can go back to Google Domain to see which one it is. So I'm going to write it down here. I have a paper next to me that I'm writing it on. And this full 
domain name is what we are going to type. So let's do that. And we want to make sure we got it right. And aromatically is going to start verifying it. And we just give it a few seconds to do that. And when is when the domain name is located, then that verification process will stop. So now you scroll down and it, before you won't have anything here. So after it verified, it's going to tell you uh, the server you wanted to point it at. And so we'll go back to Google domain and now we will click on, first what I like to do is scroll down here and this DNSSEC, I like to disable it. So I'm going to click on disable it. And then I'll go back up a little bit and I'll click on use custom name server. And then I'll go back to Bluehost and I will copy the first part of the name server. And I'll go back to Google domain and I'll paste it there. Just control V to paste it. And I'll click on on the far right, there is a little plus sign. I'll click on that to have the second row and I'll come back here to Bluehost and I'll copy the server name and I'll go back here and I will paste it. And then I'll click on save. If I didn't disable the DNS EC, when I click on save, it will say to disable it. So that's why I went ahead and I disabled it first. So now I'm going to click on save. And that will stay, it will take uh, it will take effect within the next 48 hours. That's what I say is two days process. And that's pretty much what I do the first day, and I'll wait for the eight hours. And pretty much here, now that I'm done with that, I will scroll down. So that's step two. Step two is to, um, they say verify ownership. So we will uh, go to Google and change the server names there. And it will take pretty much that 40 hours for everything to be done. And here, we wanted to make sure that step three, choose add-on versus packed. So we wanted to make sure add-on domain is checked. So it'll automatically check it for you. Otherwise, you make sure that is checked. It's not pack, it's not on sign, it's add-on domain. And we just scroll down to step four, and step four will be choose add-on domain and versus domain. So you'll make sure create a new directory will be selected, and the domain name without the .com should be in this first session here and then the subdomain will be the same. So pretty much that's that. And it is a subdomain of the main, the first one that I created, but I mean, it can be accessed by just typing libertaservice.com in, um, in a browser, or on a browser. So that's that. And we are not going to click on this green button, assign this domain, we are not going to do that. We will wait for the eight hours and we will come back sometimes 24 hours to finish the process. So when we wanted to finish this, we will record it again. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Afiavi Ojune Libreman, creators of Libreman Consulting LLC YouTube channel and owners of Nina Soap, our blog, and Nina Soap, our natural product store, and LibreLabel.com, our custom apparel store you can host your own if you purchase a domain for your business you can host it on bluehost or if you like bluehost you'll be able to do it but this uh, tutorial is more if you already have a domain name there and you are buying more because we have multiple websites and but the original one was 
the one that I have with Bluehost and I have a plan that has unlimited website. So I'm going to host them all together because that's just one business offering multiple services. One business offering multiple services and I like to have the domain name to be not to be too general but to be uh, to have the service in the name to be keyword maximized already so that way the website will be a little bit more like it's a trial I'll see how it goes it will be a um, little bit more like to summarize what we do what kind of service you know we provide in that category so and i just want to keep them all under one hosting platform but having multiple websites can be challenging i would think to manage you will see how it goes but yeah and then the business name liberal consulting when i try to uh, create a website with that which I created as well the domain name I purchased a domain name for it but it is Google suggested that it was too long for people to remember but yes Liberal Consulting is domain name for us but is kind of vague when it comes to the services that we provide so I wanted to be very uh, I wanted to create those small websites. I think people create landing pages, but I wanted to create websites that would be more targeted toward the service we provide to be a little bit niche down, but to be sub, you know, yeah, to be <laughs> concentrated on specific services that we provide. So that's something that I have in mind and I've been designing around to see how that will work out. But I just want to show you in case you have a domain name already or a website with Bluehost and you want and you purchase another domain name, you want it to add it to the one you have already there. So that you have two websites, but they are just host it on one platform that's the way you do it that's the first process and after 48 hours we'll do the second process thank you so much for watching and thank you you all that comment commented on our channel thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching our videos